Today, I'll be showing you my top 5 tips and tricks in defeating the titan the fastest way possible. And trust me, you won't believe how quickly you can crush this boss if you know the right strategy. Now my first very important strategy is to know the titan's weakness. Now I know this sounds fairly straightforward and kinda obvious, but some people skip past that. Maybe you'll use pets with a lot of power or pets with a lot of physical spells, but it's important to have pets that'll actually do powerful damage against the Titan's element. So right now you can battle the Earth Titan, so Frostfang would be a really good pet for this. Not only because of its element, but because of number two, pets need to have a really high speed as well as no recharge on their spells. Zero recharge also means no initial weight, so you can use that powerful ice spell against the titan immediately. Having high speed pets also ensures that your entire team will go first, which is what we refer to as a cycle. You don't really need to worry about things like health or defense because what we need to make sure of is that the titan never actually attacks. So none of those stats we actually need. And another good mini tip is to actually use dice attacks with no recharge. Because since we're battling only one person, the dice attack isn't really random, and it has its massive power advantage. So you're gonna do way more damage way earlier. Number three is arguably one of the more important ones, and it's to practice your clicks. Now this may sound a bit weird, but the best way to speedrun titans and speedruns in general in Prodigy actually isn't on a computer, it's on an iPad. There you can have instant taps with your finger without having to move a mouse. However, the speedrun category makes iPads and computers separate runs, so if you're on a computer, you have to learn how to click much faster than you are right now. Most people will click on their spell and slowly move to the titan to click, but speedrunners will click and click immediately. This ensures that we don't waste any time in a speedrun, and when things cut down to the wire, every millisecond counts. Now, rule number four is a little bit more niche, but it's good to point out is to don't choose slow pets. Now you may be wondering, you just said pick high speed pets, I got that, but I'm not talking about speed the stat, I'm talking about the attack animation speed. See, every pet in Prodigy has an attack animation, and even if you pick two pets with the same speed, same stats, and everything, one pet might actually be faster because of their attack animation being faster. And finally, the last and arguably the most important rule is to have easy math questions. Now, some people have been playing Prodigy for a while and their grade level is set to a specific grade with a time frame that you've been on. Maybe you're on like, proportional relationship questions or things like that. But actually, teachers and classes, you can actually set the grade that your students are on. And there are tons of YouTubers that have uh, a low grade level for their class, like David A or Flame Phoenix, and these are really helpful in a speedrun. Because questions are still part of the speedrun time, so if you're taking a long time with your questions, you're not going to get a good time. So say for questions like these, I can instantly just input a number, and I can instantly calculate stuff in my brain in seconds. A better strategy to go for is to actually have your entire team on one magic meter. Then, instead of having to answer math questions at all, as soon as you head into the battle, you instantly have your spells to cast. And as you can see, just like that, in two clicks, I can beat the Titan relatively quickly. So if you're able to master these five tips, then you are ready to battle the Titan. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go down below and hit the subscribe button and comment any other bosses I should do a full explanation on. If you want to see me do a rift run with only water spells, click right here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.